Hello, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get our meeting started. Thank you all so much for coming. We appreciate you uh, taking uh, time to be here this evening. Uh, since it is our first live, in-person uh, membership meeting, I'm thinking that a whole lot of individuals didn't get um, the uh, message about coming to our membership meeting. And some of us have gotten spoiled by just looking online. So hopefully we'll get more people coming in. So thank you for being here again. Um, Rita, can you use the microphone, please, oh, so that the video folks can okay. hear you? So you want me over here? Yeah. OK, all right. So welcome again. I would like to. Um, make some announcements here and inviting you to become members of our Arts Consortium. And uh, also, I wanted to begin by asking uh, you to introduce yourself, some of you who are new to our meeting. I know some of us are oldies but goodies, but if you could introduce yourself so that people that are new can hear who is all in the audience. Okay, and then I understand we have someone new to our area, so welcome to Visalia. And would you introduce yourself and tell us what your uh, artist background is? Sure, sure. I'm Arlene, originally grown and raised in California, but I lived all over the country. Uh, the last place for the last eight years or so was Oklahoma. So I came out here and I actually, my, um, I do photography and I also star chase when I'm out there. Oh, an adventurous so, person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, actually, yeah, you used to drive at 90 miles an hour. You know, <laughs> but anyway, but I take pictures of everything. So I like to document what others so I can show what I have seen basically is my mindset. Thank so yeah. well thank you very much. Well, thank you. I appreciate being here. And you sir. Mark Robinson. Um uh, do stone carving. Okay, very good. Okay, everyone introduce themselves. I didn't leave anyone out. Okay, very good. 
Well, now we're going to start with uh, our executive director's report. He, uh, and Pelly has lots of good stuff to tell you about what's been happening with our arts consortium.
So thank you everybody. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for um, nominating me or, or selecting me to be the artist this year. Um, my artist practice has kind of been, you know, ongoing. It's, it's ever evolving. Um, you know, thinking about, you know, my own culture, you know, which is Mexican American um, language, thinking about you know, this this bridge, you know, bridging this gap between, you know, the time that, you know, before colonialism and after and, and where we are now and sort of, you know, how, I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to bridge that gap in a way, so that's kind of what my work is about right now. I'm going to be having a show actually at the space that you're at right now um, next month, which I'm working on completing right now. And then the Oval Gallery is something that sort of started, you know, from, from ending up back in this in Visalia. Um, I... I was interested in seeing shows that I've been seeing in other cities and, and getting, you know, young people together to make an artist space that, you know, was more inclusive in the sense that, you know, we're inviting kids and, and poor people and homeless people and everybody, you know, the regular people that are coming out to the arts construction as well. It wasn't, it was going to uh, exclude anybody, so, um, sort of been thinking about it for a really long time, then, you know, a couple things happened and I said, you know, let's just do it. I have the space. Uh, rather than renting uh, another building, I'm just using my, my own house. I've turned it into a gallery on the opening nights. So I'll build some, I've actually built some walls. I'll block off sections of the house and then it's, you know, it's just basically a white wall gallery for everybody to come in and enjoy. Um, we've had a few shows, pandemic obviously slowed us down a little bit, but we're back and we're gonna be consistent. So hopefully, um, you know, from here forward, we're just going to be making shows, and if you come out and see us, that's great, and if not, um, you know, hopefully the, the following time will come out, but we are sort of a speakeasy, um, it is my res like my residence, so um, I don't publish the address anywhere um, that goes on Instagram, and it only, it only happens um, right before the show opens. So if you're interested in coming out, you can either get an Instagram or talk to somebody that does. Most of us have them by now. Um, it's, I mean, it's, just, it's, it's what it is, you know. So, so it, I mean, I would love to invite all of you to come out. We've had a really, really good couple of uh, shows to start the uh, season, and we're gonna have uh, a couple, you know, at least a couple of fun shows that I know are coming up. So, um, yeah, I don't know can what you, else to say. Can you tell us a little bit about Printworks and how that works and how people can get involved? Oh, great works. Um, so I do teach at COS, and um, I am the primary print, print instructor, so printmaking, we do have a print club. Students come out, and then we get involved in the community. We do projects with the community. We do projects that are our own. We raise money basically for scholarship for students, or to get workshops to come out to Visalia. Um, we're currently in contact with an artist from Oaxaca um, named Dr. Laka, and he is world renowned artist. Uh, I got to meet him, you know, just on a completely random trip to Mexico. I got to talk to him. He said, yeah, I'll come out and, and hang out with you guys, you know. This is a guy that does workshops at Columbia. He's been to Monica. He gets invited to a lot of these major print shops. Um, and he agreed to come out, so we're raising money to try to get him out here. And then we offer the workshops for a lot less money than it would cost you to go out and, and work with this artist. Um, getting involved with print works, Go find them again on Instagram. Um, I don't know if they still have an email address that you can contact, but I know that you can definitely find the um, Instagram, COS Printworks, um, and then that's that's how to get hold of them um, the, the quickest way. Sweet. Um, and then you have a show coming up here at Fred and Mitchell. Can you tell us about your last show that you had uh, in Taiwan? The last show? Yeah. At the OPO in Taiwan. Okay, so yeah. So prior pandemic, um, I had a show in Taiwan. Um, you know, they I I'm not sure how they got they uh, found out who I was, but I got an email and I thought it was one of those spam emails, and I was like, I'm not gonna respond. And then I recognized the person in the email. And I was like, wait a minute, that that might be real. <laughs> so I contacted them, and I was you know I made sure that the, the person the people were in fact legitimate. Uh, we asked for some pieces. I think I sent 15 pieces total over to Taiwan. It ended up being a group show with myself, Jun Lee, and Mark Durant, who is um, 
basically a copier of Abner Thurer's woodcut connection. So his his um, technique was to copy the masterworks, you know, exactly. You can't tell the difference between the Albert Dewar and his work. And so you have these etchings and these woodcuts that are, you know, identical and you can go and see them um, it, just as if you were looking at, at an Albert Dewar print. Um, that show was up for, I believe, six months. And then at the Academy, so I wasn't able to get the work back up until very recently. I just got the work back. And so a few pieces that I can see are on the, on the back shelves back there where you're all sitting. Those are some of the pieces that were at that Taiwan show uh, that, I, that I recently got back. I did have a few pieces that, so those pieces have never been shown in the States up until really recently because of uh, the delay. Um, but I do have a lot more pieces that, that are part of that. And I think we're going to be including some of those for the next show. Um, the next show, I just found out today that I'm going to be doing it. I'm actually working on the, the work for that show at the time that I got the call. So I was like, yeah, I think I can get it on my own. So it'll be crunch time, but that's how I like to work. So, so I'm excited about that. Awesome. It's going to be 26 brand new paintings. That's awesome. And if anybody wants to get a hold of you, how can they do so? Again, Instagram. I, I hate to, I'm sorry that most that some of you don't use Instagram. I think most of you do, hopefully. Um, it's just the easiest way that gets to my phone. It nags me with a little notification if I haven't responded to you. So I will eventually respond to you. It might take a day or two, but I will get back to you. And what's your handle? Uh, F underscore Alonzo, A-L-O-N-Z-O. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, there's thousands of emails that teach at two campuses. I have three jobs. They just sort of get lost sometimes. So that's the, the easiest way for, for it not to get lost. Awesome. Thank you so much, Francisco. Thank you for your time. Thank you all so much. Thanks for all that you do in our community. So he's right. I lost the next show that was going to be here, and I called him today. And I don't know where he is, but he's not here. I mean, he's out of town. <laughs> and he said, oh, I just happen to have a new show I'm finishing up. I said, thank goodness. So his show is going to be here for July and August. El Tigre um, over there, that's his too. And then on the back wall. So it's going to be a great show. And thank you, Francisco. <laughs> So, that was exciting. Artists of the Year, and I, I, I guess maybe I should have said it while he was listening, but uh, one of the cool things that we've changed in order to make the Artist of the Year more meaningful is we've actually changed it to, so that the artist gets to uh, put their art on the cover of our magazine. Uh, we used to do uh, the art contest for that, and that's just slowly been changing uh, because we really, really want to appreciate these Artists of the Year and really want to show them that, that it matters. Um, so we have that. We. Donna will be reaching out to Francisco and doing uh, a full um, story on him. Uh, we'll have it printed in our magazine, so you can look out for that. And uh, we'll be featuring him um, as hard as we can for the next year or so. So anything that he's involved in, we're going to be pushing. And, uh, and maybe we can even set up some, some workshops for him to be featured. Uh, to so that's, that's that. That's pretty exciting stuff. And now, another exciting thing. So, uh, again, I already kind of mentioned it, the Watermark Art Contest winner. It, it, uh, we've been doing it every year because the, 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 the purpose of the magazine started out as sort of an informational for an event uh, called the Waiters Race. And the Waiters Race still happens here every once in a while. Uh, but it kind of split off, and so then the Watermark was sort of talking about our annual arts festival, Taste the Arts, and it was kind of giving information about that and what goes on there. And then all of a sudden we realized, well, wait a minute, we have this publication. Um, we, we can make it a real publication. So we started putting stories in about community members. We started putting in stories about the Arts Consortium. Um, we, we have a community calendar in there. All these things. And one of the coolest things is the art contest. Uh, the art contest, we open it up to anybody in Tulare County and almost even to anybody with a connection to Tulare County. Almost, almost. They have to be really, really connected. But uh, Tulare County artists are welcome to participate of any age. All we need is that you submit a digital image of your work. 
At the end of the day, we're not going to actually collect your painting. We're not going to collect your sculpture. We just want a picture of it. And if you don't have a great camera, and we like your piece, we'll come out and we'll take a picture of it and we'll put that in our magazine. So um, if you didn't know about it, you know about it now. But it's a little too late for this year to submit any entries because today's actually the day that we're going to announce the winner. And uh, I did invite a few people who submitted their work. Um, but I can only give one $500 check to Olivia Barain. Uh, so congratulations. <laughs> talking about it here and there and talking about I think we're going to get it, but we actually have the money now. 
we actually got the money approved. So um, this is very exciting. Uh, if you haven't started designing anything, uh, maybe think about it. Consider consider putting together some designs for that. What's okay. the deadline? Four by eight. There is no deadline yet. Um, there is no deadline yet, but but the money's been approved. So I am telling you guys that if you have any ideas or, or if you want to participate, it's a good time to start making some designs for this. No application deadline yet. Not yet. Not yet. There will be, but not yet. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, unless anybody has any questions about. Oh, you know what? We, I do want to announce that Tasty Arts is in the planning stages again, and we do have. I have that list because we know that there are some awesome artists of all different types here in this area, in the Central Valley. I think some very talented people come from this area. So, so you just go to the website and, and you can put it on yourself? You can put it on yourself. Just put it on yourself. Correct. So. No, It'll, and you can, you can uh, sign up for it on your own, but uh, Pam updates them every quarter. Okay. So, Pam, did you want to say something about that? Once every month, I'll, I'll go in there and check. Yeah, no, just, it's very easy. If you just, if you just um, click on, um, if you go into our website and click on the um, artist master list, um, there's also, on that page, you can click on something that will take you to the form. And the form is only three questions. It's really super simple. It asks your name, your medium, and a contact for you. And as long as you fill that out, I'll go in there and take that and put it on the list on our website. So um, it's really it's really super simple. Do you know how many people we have for this farm? I mean, I know um, just right now, I think there's around. I think there's. Oh my gosh, put me on the spot. I'm trying to think. I just updated it the other day. I think there's around sixty. Okay, very good. And I know there's a lot more than sixty people in this area that are artists. So. Just spread the word if you don't mind doing that. Uh, thank you, Pam, very much. Also, announcements. Uh, usually, if you have flyers and that kind of thing, we have a table over here that you can put them on. Yes, Pam? I do have one announcement for our first Friday. Um, I could really use some help if anybody would like to volunteer um, distributing posters downtown for our first Fridays once a month, even if it's just for like an hour. Um, just I walk up and down downtown Very good, thank you. Yes, sir. I'm part of First Saturday, and I'll be open up on that Saturday going to Three Rivers. Okay. First Saturday and Three Rivers. Okay. I've been yeah. part of it for the last two, and I'm doing it this time, and I'm not going to do it again until November. Okay. All right, very good. Yeah, we do have Three Rivers that's involved in the first, that we have First Friday, and then just mosey on up over to the Three Rivers, and we have First Saturday there as well. Okay, thank you. Um, any uh, announcements that you might have, you can submit those to hello at artsconsortium.org. It's on your agenda here, so that you can do that. And again, uh, at our membership meetings, if you have flyers and that kind of thing, we put them on the, on the table. You can do a quick announcement if you would like. Uh, please let people know that we're back uh, to in-person meetings so that we can have more individuals come to, um, to uh, the membership meetings. I shall have a Yes, yes, go right ahead. Um, so like I said earlier, I'm with Arts uh, Visalia, and we actually have a juried uh, exhibition coming up that is taking applications now, so you can find the application portal on our website, artsvisalia.org. Um, so there is a, two $100 prizes and two $50 prizes available for that, so make sure that you get your applications, and the deadline for that will be July 20th. Okay. And is there a theme? Uh, no, yes, sorry, thank you. Uh, the theme is Art in the Valley, so it's really just any sort of art that's coming from the valley or about the valley. Um, so if you live here in the valley, you and anything you make would fall into that, all right? <laughs> Donna, do you want to say anything about the symphony that's this Saturday? Oh, this kind of Saturday? oh yeah. yeah. Do you have anybody who likes opera? <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing because my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> the, the symphony is bringing an opera, they call it a semi-opera, because it's not a rural opera. I never heard of this before, but I've learned. It's it's Shakespeare's a Midsummer Night's Dream, and then with music at the end of each act. That doesn't have anything to do with the with the thing apparently. I don't know. Anyway, it's called a fair the fairy 
queen, the fairy queen. It's going to be this Saturday at the Fox. The symphony is doing it in conjunction with UC Santa Cruz because our conductor teaches orchestra and the opera orchestra at Santa Cruz. If there was there was a story in the paper showing the amazing costumes that they come up with. They have professionals do the costumes for this. They did it up there, and they're going to bring it here, and they hope that something they'll do from every year now to bring opera here. Now that Rosalind is not doing her operas anymore. Yeah, yeah. So um, if, you're, if you're interested at all, I think the costumes are going to be worth just, just by themselves. But anyway, it's this Saturday. You can uh, go to the Symphony, Sequoia Symphony website or just show up um, at 7, I think it's 7.30 Saturday and you can buy tickets at the door. It'll be... Does it start at 7.30? It starts at 7.30. They need to get there a little bit before yeah, and get yeah, tickets get there before. at the door. As I recall, they're pretty inexpensive if someone's a student. Oh, yeah, students. Students, students are just $10. Yeah. Oh, I think the tickets are 35 35, 35 yeah. for everyone else. Yeah. 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 Well, good. So maybe we'll see a few people. Yeah, I need to take advantage of that. Some, some wonderful talent comes here to play at the Fox, so we need to take advantage of that. Anyone else want to make, need to make an announcement or have a question? Okay. Well, again, I thank you very, very much for coming. I appreciate your attendance. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Set you up for like a first Friday event. Um, if that sounds interesting to you.